2011 is prequel year. We got The Thing, we got X-Men First Class, we got pr practically all of the Avengers setup films, and now we got Puss in Boots. This is the origin story to the feline character from the Shrek movies without paying attention too much to those Shrek movies, and it's its own film. In the film, Puss embarks on a journey trying to look for the Golden Goose that hopefully will be the key to his redemption after an RA incident happened with Humpty Dumpty in the past, and along the way he has to deal with a bandit couple named Jack and Jill, no, not the Adam Sandler movie, and a spicy feline named Kitty Softballs. Now upon first impression when the first posters came out and the trailers, my assumption was thinking, oh, cash grab for DreamWorks. But the more I thought about it, I figured who else to get a spin-off film from the Shrek series other than Puss in Boots? I mean, think about it. Do you really want to have a donkey the movie? Now, all around this film has been getting really positive reviews. Everybody's loving it. And I feel so alone and isolated because guess what? I did not like it that much. I didn't hate it. I didn't I didn't even dislike it. It wasn't even that bad. I just didn't like it as much as other people were making it out making it out to be. The story is a little, you know, fairy tale-ish, of course. What can you expect from a talking cat movie? But it gets by on its appeals to the kids. The voices were great. You got Antonio Banderas re reprising his role as Puss in Boots, and he's still good. You got uh, Selma Hayek uh, playing Kitty Softballs. Well, that was pretty good. I thought I liked how there was a little Desperado reunion there. And in my opinion, the best voice out of the entire cast was Zach Galifianakis as Humpty Alexander Dumpty. He made me chuckle mostly throughout the film, and I thought that he, he did a really great job in that character. You also got other voices like Constance Marie from the George Lopez show and uh, Billy Bob Thornton playing Jack, one of the bandits. Plus, the animation is still great. I really love the scenery and the art direction in this film. It's really beautiful. They really managed to capture the essence of that. You know, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's Mexico or Spain, but they managed to capture that, you know, Hispan Hispanic feel and look to it. And there's some pretty entertaining action sequences here. It's charming. It's innocent. I actually like it a lot better now, days later, instead of after I initially saw it, where I thought mm, it's not that great. And I'm not gonna kid you guys. Uh, there were a couple of jokes, at least personally, that I felt. Uh, fell a little flat. You got kitty jokes that uh, didn't really appeal to me and there's some adult jokes here and there that mo uh, two or three of them really cracked me up. But there's nothing really memorable to have kept me going, oh man, this is one of the better animated films of the year. So I liked it. There were some great animations, some great voice work, some really entertaining action sequences and a joke worthy of a chuckle here and there. But I just simply didn't fall in love with it like everybody else did. I did, however, find it innocent, inoffensive, and charming. So I'm going to be fair and give this film an 8.0 out of 10, which is a B-. You'll have an entertaining and relaxing time while watching the film and I would say that you're probably not going to remember it the next day but at this point with Thanksgiving coming up they're not going to stop showing those TV spots and I don't care this film has not done anything to convince me to get a cat I'm a dog person let's go